Hey, Business Calculus students. This is the first of two videos we're going to, where we are going to be focusing on finding local max and min of this function. In this first video, we're going to focus on doing that using the first derivative test. But I'll tell you, the first thing you always want to do when you're trying to find a local max or min is you want to find critical points. So if we want to find a critical point, we need to find the derivative and set it equal to zero f prime of x, use the power rule to get 3x squared, minus 12x, set that equal to 0. Now if I'm going to solve this, probably what I'm going to do is factor, and I can see that I can take a 3x out of both terms, and that's going to leave me with an x minus a 4. So these are my critical points, 0 and 4. All right, now it is time for the first derivative test. When I'm doing this, what I do is I draw a nice long number line, and I put my points on there. There's x equals 0, there's x equals 4. And look, we've got one, two, three regions that we want to consider. In each of those regions, we want to figure out what's going on with the first derivative. Is it positive? Is it negative? What's going on? So over here, I'm in this region to the left of 0. So let's figure out what f prime of negative 1 is. If you plug that into our first derivative, 3 times negative 1 minus 12 times negative 1, you should get 15. That is positive. OK, so now we need to make a conclusion. When our first derivative is positive, f is increasing. All right, we've got a conclusion for that region. Now we're going to move over here to the middle. We'll pick a number in the middle. I'll pick 1. What's well, f prime of 1? Well, again, if you plug that into the first derivative, you can check that we should get negative 9. That's negative. If our first derivative is negative, then f is decreasing. And finally, we check over here to the right of 4. Uh, let's use 5 as a test number. f prime of 5. And if you plug that in, what you'll get is positive 15. That's positive. So that means f is increasing. Okay, with that information, we can then figure out what's happening at our two critical points, 0 and 4. Notice what's happening on the left and on the right of x equals 0. Our function is increasing, and then it's decreasing. In other words, around 0, we expect to see a picture that looks like that. That tells us that x equals 0 is a local max. We're at the top of a hill. Now that's different from x equals 4, because notice what happens is that the function is decreasing and then increasing. So our graph looks something like this. So that means that x equals 4 is a local min. And that's how you use the first derivative test to figure out whether or not your critical points are local maxes or local mins. Draw the number line, find out what your first derivative is, on either side of your critical point and use that to make a conclusion. 